In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to run in Jujutsu Shenanigans Mobile. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna give you easy to follow instructions on how to properly run in Jujutsu Shenanigans, and I'm also gonna teach you how to wall run, where you will be able to climb up walls and do a lot of different moves. So first, as you might be aware, you can dash by pressing this button. However, how do you stay running? If you look at a lot of gameplay videos of Jujutsu Shenanigans, you might notice that players start running and sprinting all over the place. Well, all that you have to do is go over to the settings and make sure that auto run is enabled. So just toggle this option by dragging this little ball icon to the left until this slider is green. Now you will notice that any movement that I do, my character will start sprinting. This is much much better. You will be able to close the distance between you and your opponent, you will be able to escape engagements if you notice that you are going to lose and so on, and it is much more enjoyable to play with auto run enabled. In this way, your character is always going to be sprinting. Now to wall run, this can be a little bit more complicated. First, make sure that you lock your camera behind your back like this by using this lock icon. And now you have to run towards the wall and push the little joystick over here on the left to the opposite side of the wall. So for example, if I were to jump into this wall on the, my right side, I would have to move my joystick to the left as I jump into the wall. So something like this. And as you can see, I did a quick flick and my character jump off of the wall into the opposite side. So you can use this to gain some distance or even to climb up trees and other buildings. It takes a little bit of practice, but as you can see, you will be able to wall run and gain a lot of height and distance. Depending on the angle that you get while doing this, you will also be able to climb up the wall. But like I said, this takes a lot of practice and isn't really reliable to do on mobile. But as long as you practice this, either on a private server or just random public matches, you will be able to wall run with ease. So this is all you have to do. I hope I was able to help you on how to run in Jujutsu Shenanigans Mobile. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.